guys. Sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties we were dealing with, uh, but we got it figured out. We were trying to do a live stream to YouTube as well, but I think that's kind of what screwed us up. So I just kind of disconnected that and it looks like it is working for the most part. We're rolling. Yeah. Do you need to open up that one? Uh, no, I'll be able to use this one okay. for the chat. Cool. But yeah, if you guys can't hear us, let us know in the chat, please. My turn? Yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple updates. Um, so we're, you know, I mean, we're feeling our way through this and we're doing this kind of just freestyle. So there's going to be technical difficulties and things. So just kind of hang with us on that. But you can see the general back there and um, I'm starting to get a lot of ideas. In fact, I found out, I talked to Eric Wolf today. That's the guy that is loaning us the bike. And I have the bike in this room and I was staring at it last night and I had my S&M and I'm looking at the difference between the S&M and the general and I'm thinking, man, I, I'm going to need an ACS drop stem to make this thing work because unless you get that profile adapter and um, I thought, well, I might as well just run an ACS. So I hit Eric up this morning, hey, you got an ACS stem and he sends me a picture of a polished ACS drop stem, perfect condition. <laughs> So he knew I was going to call him and ask him for this, but I, I think I've almost gotten to the point where he's going to donate it to the project. And so we got that coming in. That's going to clear up things a lot. And um, then we're working on more parts for that. Um, if you move over just a little bit. Perfect. All right. So back here, that's my jump bike. That is a Haro. Haro RS1, I got rock shocks on it. Um, it's got a Chris King hub, which, man, I love that thing. That thing, I tightened it one time. Never had to go back and tighten it again. And, it, and it's actually, your bike is actually faster with that thing. I don't know Chris King or anything about them, but I just know that hub's good. Um, and then there's my S&M. You guys know that bike. I'm really falling in love with that thing. Um, so... I'm actually looking at the, I was measuring the general. The general actually has a longer end compared to the S&M. And I was actually thinking, man, why is that general so short or so long? Maybe it needs to be shortened up. So I'm actually like, I feel like I'm going over to the dark side with the new technology and stuff. Um, but uh, we got that stem coming from Eric. I've been talking with Jeff DeVito, who owns uh, JD Cycle Supply. That's the guy that I sold hammer and bully to, hold uh, hammer and bully to. A very good guy. Jeff's a great guy, and, and he's sending me a few products. I'm not sure what's going to be in the box, but we'll see when that gets here. Um, so you know what's going on. Got some good ideas for the general, which I'm not going to tell you about yet. <laughs> and I got to tell you guys, I am glad that I don't have to do what Dylan does because, man, you should see the lighting and the there's computers all over the place and wires and he's, yeah, he is working his ass off to make this thing happen. I, I want to say thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I would not ever have gotten this far without him. So um, I just really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, of course. And I'm stoked to be a part of this. You guys are giving us an awesome response to everything we're doing. So it's a lot of fun being a part of it. Um, and I guess I just want to thank you guys for being so welcoming. It's been really cool. Uh, and it was stoked. I was stoked to see your guys' response on the logo we posted yesterday. So that was awesome too. And he's gonna get pissed at me for doing this, but I'm gonna tell you guys, and I'm not. I'm not bullshitting you guys. This is the absolute truth. This guy is an unbelievable. This is like the Michael Jordan of lacrosse. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you. When he was in high school, he broke the high school record by 40 points. And uh, if when I got when I watched him play, it was just. It was amazing, but he is really good at lacrosse. He doesn't play much anymore, but when he was in it, it was an amazing thing. So he's an athlete as well. He's got that eye, eye hand coordination that these guys that do, you know, athletes that have that, they catch balls, throw them, whatever. He's got that, he's left-handed. He's got that whole magic thing going on, whether he's riding bikes, skateboards, it's like, but anyways, does that make you feel uncomfortable enough? A little bit. Okay, <laughs> he doesn't like that, but. Yeah, I did some writing yesterday with him uh, in between filming the Rock Walk video, I think it was. 
I was trying to do the infinity roll, or I think it was the rock walk. Rock I was walk. Trying to do. Rock walk. Yeah, I was riding the SNM. It was pretty good. Took a little spill. He's um, never ridden, never ridden a freestyle bike before, and he got past a quarter of a 180. So he got 90 degrees around. First time on that bike, and uh, I was like, "Man, we're going to the hospital today for <laughs> sure." But no, no problems. Typical Dylan. So. Um, when I get both bikes together, he's probably going to start riding one. Yeah, I want to get into it more. I was thinking about getting a skateboard, too. Might be fun, like a long board, because I'm into like the carving and yeah. stuff. Kind of like surfing. And for filming, it'd be good, too. Yeah, that'd be cool, too. Yeah. So we'll be sending him to the hospital soon. Yeah, if any of you guys from YouTube are over here, apologize for that. Um, for some reason, when we hooked that up, as well as the Facebook, it kind of like overloaded it, I guess. We're kind of on a like basic system right now for the streaming but i think once we upgrade to something a little bigger we'll be able to have uh streaming to multi-platforms at once but for now we'll probably just be doing uh the facebook like we're doing now and then we do have like instagram going as like the kind of behind the scenes shot but this is really where the main focus is on facebook can you guys see my eyes how puffy they are look at that look at my i have a lazy eye right here no you don't yeah i do look when did it go lazy? It's always been lazy all my life, but when I'm tired, it gets like really slow. But um, I didn't sleep much last night. I don't know why, and so I'm haven't had my McDonald's this weekend either. Oh boy! So um, maybe after this, I'm a little slow, but we're gonna push through. All right. They're saying bring Hammer back in the comments. Yeah, we're there's there's all kinds of conversations going around and. Uh, we're just taking it slow, man, because, uh, you know, I want to do this. I want to enjoy this. I, I don't want to have to be going like, we have to move this. We have to sell that. No. This is more like uh, we want this to be a little more organic and have some feeling behind it. Like the connection I have and Dylan has with you guys and our talking online and everything like that. Um, I got to say hi to a couple friends. William Johnson. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Um, Richie Pierce. These guys I talk to a lot. Um, Rich, Eric Richie Wolf. Richie sent us a lot of good uh, video footage. So yeah. We'll be watching that. Richie's a good country singer. I know I talked about that, but he sang online. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he can really sing, man. I mean, not, not just studio stuff. He can sing on cue. And I can't, so that makes me kind of jealous. But You already showed him the frame Eric uh, sent you? Yeah, they saw that last week. Um, things in really good shape. Yeah, that was sent in from Eric Wolf. I don't know if you mentioned that. So, you know, I'm right at that spot where I'm like, <laughs> I'll tell you my, my darkest secrets on that bike. I'm ready to cut the head off, put the right size down there, put a new shaft on the top of the fork, whatever I got to do to modernize it, you know? And I was thinking about doing that with a crank hanger. And then I'm like, you know, just riding it stock would be kind of cool. You know, I, I rode a bike stock that way before and it worked out fine. It's like, you don't really need all that stuff. I may eat those words, but, um, so if you guys got an opinion on that, you want to send it in, just give me more to think about. Like I need that. But yeah, give me your opinion. I listen to everything you guys say. The comments, uh, Dylan did that logo. Did we have that last time? We posted it on Facebook yesterday. So I think a lot of them saw it. But no, we didn't have it last time we did this. So Dylan got that logo done, and it was like, I didn't even know what was happening. He's He is doing so much. You guys wouldn't believe how much work this guy's putting in. Um, but the logo I thought was really cool. I'd like to, I, you guys gave some opinions. Um, we're still kind of up in the air about it, but generally I think it's like 90% there, huh? The logo? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, we got some more videos coming soon. That'll be cool. So how are we gonna look at videos? Oh yeah, so I mean, today's main thing was we were gonna watch videos that you guys sent in, which you guys sent in a lot of really good videos. I really appreciate it. I wanna thank all you guys for doing that. Um, but we're gonna be watching those videos and then if you guys have any questions for RL, kinda of like what we did last week, um, it's kinda of open format. So just send in the questions through the Facebook chat and then do you wanna start watching the videos now or do you wanna? Yeah, talk I, a little more. I want you guys. I'm sure you guys saw this. This guy sitting on his handlebars, doing like a G turn. I mean, 
I just about fell out of my chair when I saw this. I was just like, you know, that's the funny thing about freestyle is you just when you think they can't come up with anything new, somebody comes in with that type of trick and it's just like yeah. <laughs> opens it up. It's like it's endless. You know, you the tricks never stop. And that just blows my mind. But um, how are we going to get those videos up? I'll bring them up. Let's see if they got any questions first. Did you sit, did you talk about like what parts you're going to be using for that bike or how you're figuring that out? Well, I'll tell you guys, um, I'm going to call, is it BDL? The same bikes that are on the, the, uh, S and M. So at S and M ATF, um, I'm going to talk to the people that make those, those cranks are just solid, man. I don't even have to, I don't tighten them or nothing. I just put them on. They don't move. They don't talk. They don't do anything. Um, I'm really digging those cranks, so I was going to call them and uh, see if I get them to kick us a pair, put on this new bike, and somehow adapt to that big drop, uh, big bottom bracket. And um, I was going to go with S and M wheels. I got to call Chris Muller and see if I can bug him about a set of S and M wheels. Who's sending you this hat, by the way? This, um, this came in a while ago. Can you guys see that? So I think. This guy sent it in and said his dad builds custom motorcycles. And I mean, he builds, what's on the back of there? It says Chaos Cycle. Yeah. I mean, check out those bikes. They're, there's some really nice bikes. Harleys, custom. I don't know if they're using s, &S motors or it says New York Rev Park Tech Ford. or what. But um, yeah, they, they're building some really cool looking bikes. And um, thank you guys for the hat too. I appreciate that. Um, any questions coming up? Yeah, they're wondering how long, this is from Qu Corey Kearns, and he's wondering how long did the filming take for the opening and end credits of Rad? How many years ago was that? Man, if you guys ask me anything past like five minutes, it's gonna be a tough answer because my memory doesn't go that far. I don't remember. I, I remember we did some shoots and then we did a, a thing down in San Diego with Talia Shire, if that's her name. Um, we rode a little bit down there. I don't, I don't think it was devastatingly long. Um, I don't know how long it took. Not Maybe they did it in a day, I would say. Oh. But then there were some beach scenes, and so I don't even remember. I don't remember how long that took. You don't remember how, many, how much filming you guys did? Um, man, my eye is like barely open. Look at that thing. <laughs> What was the question? I was saying, so you don't remember how many days of filming you guys did for that? I don't. Maybe it was a couple. You know, it was just, uh, you know, beginning and end. I really don't remember. It was a long time ago. Cool. All right, you want to do some video then? Sure. All right, let's get it going. This will trip you guys out. Can they still hear me? Yeah. So, um, man, I'm really digging the conversations that we're having and your opinions on everything are um, just amazing. Uh, it's, this community of people is, um, it's just a good group, man. I think you guys all know that. And um, we're stoked to be a part of that, definitely. All right, so this first one, these first few we're gonna watch are from Francisco Franco. I think he's doing the is this one of, whip, I think. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do some. Be, we're not. We're gonna do some. Uh, not so advanced, and then we'll we'll show some advanced riders. But let's see. Cool. So he's got that. Someone else was asking me about a tail whip, and he did that. Wait, you're gonna hit that again? He said multiple of him doing it, so I think it's kind of him progressing through it. Oh, cool. Okay, he's he's getting into the rock walk. He's doing it on his front, using his front brakes. I think that's a 24 inch that he's riding. Can they hear your speakers cracking? A little bit. I have to turn down though. So he's got the 180. 
um, with the front brakes, and you can you're gonna have to struggle getting your uh, next 180 out of that when you use your brakes because you don't have very much speed. But um, this is a great way to start a rock walk. Turn into it. Yep, he's turning into it. He's rolling out of it. He almost has it. Once he starts rolling back, he just has to hit his brakes, and the front end will come around and uh, it'll follow his head. Your, your head, your body, and your bike will follow your head. Remember that. Yeah, that was a huge helping point when I was trying it out. It was just like looking in the direction you want to spin towards. And that really seemed to like get it going. Pretty right. Easy. Yeah. And we're working on, uh, we're going to make these how to's. We're really going to get in depth because I talk way too much. But um, Dylan shot it in slow motion, regular motion. And we shot every little trick and tip to get you through it. Um, so it's going to be. Uh, once we get our rhythm, this should be really a solid deal. Right, let's see what he's doing here. He's going for an infinity roll, kind of without pedaling. Again? Yeah, that was one of the shorter clips. Sorry. Now. Cool. Oh, yeah, he got off too early on that one. He looked like he could have gone farther. All right, so those are the videos from Francisco Franco. Thanks again for sending those in. All right, so Derek Williston, Williston sent this one in. This is some scooter fails that he, I guess, did as a child. Okay, so cool. Let's check this out. I haven't seen these yet. Thank you guys for sending these in, though. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, we get the commercial. A school day with inter Gotta have those All commercials. Your video calling and streaming from the fastest internet provider. Okay, check out. This is funny. I'm sorry. It's not funny when you're not supposed to laugh when people fall, but sometimes we do. Whoa. Now I think somebody set him up for that, right? Yeah, they're gonna explain it in here. <laughs> Look at that, man. Something. Oh, that's straight <laughs> over. I think he loosened his his entire caliper. The brake. Something. I don't know how it got caught and locked up like that, but it. I'm pretty sure he explains it in here. What's wrong? You dead? Come on, old man. This is just getting started. He's beat. <laughs> what did you do? Come off? Oh, came off the brakes. Wow. That's why you wrecked. You big dummy. <laughs> Sanford and Son. You guys remember that show? Yep. What was that guy's name? Red Fox. <laughs> he was funny. Yeah, that's cool. Same thing could happen to you. Let's find out what happened. Oh, oh man. Look at his face. Yeah, wide open. Like gonna this is going to hurt for a while. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ow, man. Time to go for a ride. Jeez. Uh, oh, cool. man. Boom. Huh. And then, yeah, that's the angle. Head. Decapitates yeah. him. Oh. <laughs> uh, here comes Mom. <laughs> What is this? We're gonna blow that speaker. No. All right, so this one was sent in from Albert Ocampo, and I guess it's him and his friend Nathan Shimizu riding in Alhambra in about 1990-ish. Do you have that one with that guy in the handlebars mm -hmm. later? 
Okay. Is this a crash? I don't think they crash much in this at all. Man, he's doing those hops at speed. Nice little grind there. Sweet, man. That's cool. They're just kind of riding anything that's available. I like that. Oh, that was really good plant. Can can plant. Yeah, it says from 91. It says in the video. That was nice. Wow. Yeah, that was cool. It's hard to ride short walls because you always feel like your front tire is going to go over the top. Wow. Guy's got good style. That's hard. Look at that. That was cool. That pushback. Oh, oh wow. wow. Dang, he's getting way up there. Yeah, that wall's pretty far away too, so that makes it harder. But look at he can ride freestyle. Oh, wow. Nice, man. That was a nice combination. So that's cool. Riding both, you know, he's riding street and uh, freestyle ground. It looks and doing good on both. Yeah, Look at that guy on the handlebars, man. I'm just, just going, going through them in order. Paul Barlow? Oh, yeah, yeah this is from Paul Barlow. Just this is the guy I'm thinking about. You can see this guy, he's holding back, man. He, he looks like he's probably really good. You can see he makes all his tricks easy, and he's got a lot of skill. Let's see here. I don't think I saw this one. This is like intro for the video. Here we go. Decade. Oh, this must be when he was younger. Because I think there's some older pictures of him writing. I'm not sure. That was cool. Those like lime green rims are cool. Oh, yeah, those mags? Yeah. Lime green. When did those come out? Yeah, the custom. Cherry picker here comes. Oh wow. Nice. I'm learning when you get older, hopping like that hurts more. <laughs> you just gotta be smoother. That was nice. The lawnmower. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. Wow, man. That was nice. Got a lot of speed on that tail whip. The surfer? Jeez. Not, I mean, that was a good looking trick, but man, those standing up on the bar tricks are just uncomfortable for me. Yeah, Chris Ard says he wants to see you do the cherry picker. <laughs> I know you do. I'm working into it. I'm kind of going through the tricks that I can do without too much pain. So I'm building up my muscles right now, but I'll get there. That was a big one. Yep, there it goes. DMX Shadow Conspiracy. Alright, so this one I really like. I mean, I like all the videos, but this one really stood out to me. This is Walmir in San Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, watch this guy ride, man. Good looking general, too. Thing is clean. Comes out of that smooth. Little mini whip, decade. 
Look how smooth this guy is. That's a hard trick right there. I forget what Chris Day used to call that. That is a difficult trick. Right into something else. Backwards. Yeah. That was nice. Cool. That was a good job, man. Clean riding. Difficult tricks. Good combos. Pretty advanced rider. Alright, so this is from James Spencer when he took first place in an ABA event. Are we getting any questions coming in? We're more just talking about what we're watching. Uh -huh. I'm letting you know if the questions come in. Uh oh. Maybe the video we're, got taken down. We're having a problem with our internet. So, so this, this one's, one's from Brian Bennett, and this is of his son Tyler writing. I think he was like three years old. It's pretty cool. Or one and a half years old. Oh, this is Brian. Oh, hey, Brian. If you're out there listening, guys, make sure to check out Brian Bennett's story. It's a good one. Good one, and uh, it's a good lesson, too. Look at that little kid, man. Okay, oh, he's got the mags on his bike. <laughs> the lime green. He's got the Mickey Mouse. Turn it around. Face it. No, get over. Over. You're going to go down that one. Number two. Look, okay, he, he's got to cross okay, that center thing or he's going to hit that goalie. There he goes. Oh. Look at that little guy. Little speed wobbles. Uh, okay, get up. He really went for it. Get up. Come on, are you alright? Are you okay? Okay, yep. Sometimes we crash. Sometimes we crash, little buddy. Man. Are you alright? How are your hands? I don't know what you guys are like, but when if I was that small me. going down that hill, no, your hands are that okay. would be pretty damn All scary. Okay? He's not even crying or anything. Hurt? Nope. Okay, good. Dust, get up, dust yourself off. Dust yourself off. You're all right. You need a hug? You need a hug? Right. <laughs> you need a hug. Okay, now get your bike. Dust myself off. Dust myself off. I'm not the one that... I like Brian. He's a good guy. All right. I'm all dusted off. The guy you hear talking okay, right there, Brian Bennett. He's a straight up dude. Okay, get on good your guy. Bike. Oh, you got to turn your handlebars the other way. Here, I'll give you a good push. Get on. <laughs> All right. Look at him right back, back on that thing. Going. Oh wow! There Folks. he goes. Woo -woo! All right. Hey, he gets going fast. That, my friend, is how tough my little boy is. <laughs> That's right. Did he cry? Heavens no! He just got up, just and Look at him still so going. Here it comes. I don't even think he has any pedals on that bike. He just has to push it. Where are you going? <laughs> that was cool. That was good. Good video, Brian. Yeah. Tyler's looking really good. So this is from Dave, Dave Nori. Oh, this is this is big. Dave Nori sent in a video? I didn't know that. Yeah. You guys all know who Dave Nori is. He's been riding as long as I have. Maybe not quite as long, but close to it. He's got a totally unique style. Does his own tricks. I dig this guy. That's a scary trick right there. That is cool. Nice. Huh. 
Uh huh. Nice. Very good. That's Dave right there. That's Dave Miller, yeah. I think we comp used to compete against each other. That's yeah, I mean, in one of the videos, they sent you guys were both in the competition. For that flat one. Yeah. One. He's like in his 50s, man, and he still rides just as good, too. Whoa. that to a right into a well that's good dude look how quick he moves around the bike man it's like i got to think about it like okay i'm going over here it's just like nothing side glide uh, wow Sounds like an acrobat or something. Yeah, man. Look at that. I mean, he he's the only thing he could trust there is his pedal. So if he moves just a little too <laughs> fast, that whole thing's gonna come down. It's a lot. It's a lot harder than it looks. I'll tell you. Keep that bike stationary. Look at this. That's cool, man. Wow, he's just on the pedal. I love the variety of tricks that he comes up with. They're totally original. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention Patrick's not here today because he's got family in town, um, so you spend time with them, but he'll be back next stream. Uh, he's just with the fam. Heck, he's working with me tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, Patrick, I hope everything's going good with your family, man. We'll see you tomorrow, whatever time I told you. You are definitely missed, brother. Looks like Bob and... Mike Dominguez. Let's see. That looks like Ron Wilkerson. That's Ron Wilkerson. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... Jeez. That must be Brian and Ron. 540. Air on top. Look how close they are. Huh. Ron Wilkerson, man, he came up with some of the scariest tricks. Miami Harbor drop in. And Brian Blyther's got to be the smoothest ramp rider ever. That's cool, man. These are some horror shows. These two, I don't know if it was these two guys that did a picture, and then they did one when they were older, too. Same exact picture. This looks like Dave. Huh. He's still got the, this crazy trick. Yeah, it's so unique. I mean, it's hard to develop a trick and actually complete it. That was cool, man. That looked old, Dave. How long ago did you do that? Wow. That Miami Hopper spin. That's what the trick's called? Yeah, when over the front. There's a guy in um, Miami, Florida that invented that trick. He comes on here once in a while, too. Oh, wow. It's only on the pedal. Where is that? I love watching Dave ride because it's everything he does is so unique. That's cool. Let's do a spin. Wonder how many times he can spin that thing around now. Cool. Was, was that slow motion or was he yeah, just going that was, slow? That was real time. That was cool. Nice move, Dave. 
Huh. What? <laughs> That's great. There's that double error again. Brian and Ron. That's weird. What are you on? One pedal in the frame? That was a weird way of doing a cherry picker. Whoa. That was nice. That was easy. There's no way I could get under a bike like that, even when I was younger. I know. You get so twisted in that thing. Hey, Eric. All right, man. How are you doing, Eric? Are you free or are you still in there? You went to the hospital today. We should play better in another video. I think he's just oh, okay. Good riding, Dave. Thanks for sending the video in. Yeah, you guys should check out Dave Norrie, man. That's a really long one, so let's wait. He's been riding a long time, and he's only gotten better. Yeah. This Gabriel. It's my buddy Gabriel. Yep, doing the rock walk. Says he's still in the hospital. Really? So he says he's good. Wow. You're right there, man, Gabriel. You just gotta get a little more movement, a little speed, and a little more whip, and you'll you got that thing. And eventually, just kind of ease, try to get off your brakes. Is he wearing Crocs or the slippers he's wearing? I don't know. How do you do that in slippers, man? the uh, rock walk man we shot it 150 different ways and that'll be out in a few days and um, that one was just for you Gabriel so I think it's gonna help you a lot um, you got the rock walk man you just got to go a little bit faster and just pull it all the way around and then slowly ease off get off your brakes you know and then it'll start going really fast he's still at the hospital that's what he said, yeah. So Eric Wolf, the guy that gave me, or is loaning me that general, I keep saying he gave me, um, he went back to the hospital today. He's got a few things he's got to take care of. So, uh, man, my best wishes to you, Eric. I hope you're feeling better, and I hope you get out of that place soon. Keep us posted, please. So this came from Dave Spencer, and he's doing this on his 87 general... Osborne Pro. 
got a good taste in bikes. Is that the same one back there? I don't know. You're, somebody told us what year that was, but I'm That's sure it's Osborne. really close. That's an Osborne Pro. Yeah. I know I should know the years, but <laughs> you guys know way more than I do. Nice. Okay, so he's got the rock walk right there. He's doing it with brakes. See what else he has in the tail whip. How can you tell if they're using brakes or not? Uh, the front wheel doesn't move, and it slows the trick down. Uh, nice job, man. You're doing good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Try to do that rock walk eventually without brakes. Um, use the brakes kind of as a safety thing if you start to go over the bars. Um, but that rock walk will go a lot faster and be way more impressive um, once you get off the brakes. But I know I'm kind of addicted to my brakes too. Here's another one from Dave uh, Spencer. He looks like he's going to go into a side glide. All you got to do is lift up that back wheel a little bit and start gliding. Nice. Where's that guy that did good job? Really good job, man. You got that guy, last guy that we were just watching. What was his name? Dave Spencer? Yes. He's got, you got some skills. Uh, so does Gabriel. You guys just got to believe in yourself a little bit. Push the tricks a little bit farther. Keep doing them over and over and you'll get them. Nothing is impossible. It's just a matter of actually starting the trick and be willing to work with it until you get it. But you guys are looking good. Did you want to show them that frame up close, by the way? I don't think we showed it up close on here. Yeah, we did. We, you brought it up here? I didn't bring it on the table. I want to see that guy on the handlebars first. Okay. Which one, Which guy is that? Well, first, Richie, Richie Pierce sent some in, so I want to show his. Pretty good. Hey, Richie. This, how you doing? I, Richie and I talk almost every day. This video is funny. This is the country singer. <laughs> I appreciate your vote. Well, at least I got one vote, right, Rishi? President might be a little too much. Say hi to Brandy and your family for me. Now, this is his son, Hunter, who's 13. Oh, doing, cool. Doing some writing at the park. So one of Richie's, that, that guy, cool. he looked good, yeah. Which son is this? Hunter. Yeah. Ooh, one-hander. Hand nice. So we got one that's good on bikes, and then Richie has another son that raps. Oh, really? Yeah, I, and he, I mean, he's good. He's really good. I'm not, like, just trying to blow him up. He's really good. This is uh, Hunter as well, I believe. Wow. You know, you could just tell the way somebody moves through a skate park, the way they pedal and stuff. Um, and he's been in that park for a while. You can tell he's used to it. He's used to the transitions. Got the scooter. He looks like he's going to be good. Skaters in there doing stuff. Here he comes. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. nice, man. Roll right out of that transition. No problem. Good job, man. Looking good, Hunter. Rolling in, out. Just going from transitions like that, moving between different bowls or hips or whatever it takes a while to adapt to that he's doing real good with it just getting a feel of the park it's good oh, yeah. ah and he's rolling out a little coping there that's a pretty steep little wall that's a 
You've never ridden a skate park, I guarantee you. You look at rolling into one of those little things, especially your first time, it's totally different feeling from when you're just watching it on tape. He's getting through here good, though. Oh, oh, oh nice. Yes. Jump that tabletop. Very sweet. The whole thing. Man, get a full face, Richie. Get a full <laughs> face for that guy. He's starting to move around there pretty good, man. Cover his face. Just good protection. I always wear a full face on jumps or in skate parks. I wonder where the skate park is. Yeah, look at all the different transitions. I so there's a wall back there. Yeah, he's going over everything. Looking good, Hunter. A little cross up. Just to move through a skate park with confidence like that is a big deal, I'm telling you, man. You there's other people around? Uh-uh. That was cool. Sorry. There's a fire hydrant in there? Yeah, they have a little fire hydrant. Probably for the skateboarders. Oh, probably. I'm sure they're not worried about having a fire. It's kind of like concrete. See it? Nice. This guy's got some skill. Oh. What do you call that when you like twist the handlebars like that? So I, go, I don't know if he's going for like a complete X up or oh. there he's going for like a manual. Elbow. My tailbone. Oh. Just land the dude. Tailbone's the worst. Oh, there was that um, fire hydrant. Where is the guy on the handlebars? Good job, Hunter. Was it Pete Brandt? Oh, let's watch Pete Brandt. So. Don't start it yet. Don't start it yet. This guy, I think we've met before, Pete and I, and he, this is going to kind of ruin your day because I think he's 50, maybe one year older, and, uh, man, he is just as good as some of the best guys in the world, if not better. So this is going to be the depressing part of the show for me because he is so good, man. It's like... All right, you guys are in for a treat here. Any comments? Yeah, they like Pete Brand, they're saying. Oh, yeah, good. These guys like this have set the standard. You know, you see them out riding and doing the best, hardest stuff in the world at the highest level, and it's motivating. It's inspiring for me. Um... Because I know it can be done. I know that age is kind of only in your head, and he's proven that. Look at this. Look how he holds it with his foot, holding the bike with the foot. That looks so cool. That. What did you say, San Francisco? I thought that was San Francisco. I think he's from up there. Look at this. I don't know how you don't get dizzy doing that. Uh, and look, he's, he's switching pegs. He's switching feet. He's on top of the bike. He's pedaling. How do you how do you do that? And with all that spinning, how do you keep your balance? No, Some, one of these riders got to tell me. There's got to be... Look at that. Oh my god. That's so many difficult moves in there. And there's no brakes on that bike. Oh, nice. Okay. Damn. Look at all the people in the background walking by like, yeah, I see this all the time. But no. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you're looking at a world-class rider right here. 
And they're just passing by like, yeah, no big deal. I'm gonna check your phone real quick. Look at, oh, God. Yeah, I love that right there. He holds the bike with his chest. I'm just talking a little. How do you do that? How does that even happen? I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom real fast. That's a cool move, too. It kind of reminded me of Dave Nori. Look at all Look at all the little subtle movements in his body. That's his balance right there. Damn. You know, here's what I'm this is a dream of mine. Is that one day one of these top riders like Pete Brandt will call me and say, Man, there's a total secret to doing all those spins. It's like once you start spinning, this natural physical thing starts to happen and you can't fall off. But man, I go out and try them and I'm thinking, Yeah, oh, there's no magic to this. It's just practice and skill. Can you find the guy? You know which one the guy on the bars is? What is it? Nice job, Pete. Really nice. Wait, 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 wait. The what? guy a guy that sits on his handlebars, he does like a G turn or something. Did you give me the video? I showed it to you. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about actually. That's not it. But this is gonna be good. This was yeah, this is the one from Japan. This is a pro contest. Look at this. Are they seeing that commercial? Not anymore. <laughs> Look at that. What are those pills you take for getting when you get dizzy on a ship? You know, you don't get seasick. Uh, like Dramamine. Dramamine or something like that. I mean, these guys gotta be on Dramamine, <laughs> like heavy dosages, because. They go right into another spinning trick. How do you do that in balance when you're already half sick from the first one? And switching feet like that without brakes, you got to be so accurate. Yeah. So he doesn't have brakes on there? No. It's just pure balance. Everything is pure balance. And he's switching feet, so he's unweighting his body, going to other sides of the bike, going to different sides of the peg, and not just even... Come on. That's crazy. Just, he's got to have a gyro in somewhere or something. Huh. They pump while they're balancing, too. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> Cross leg 360s. I think the world needs to be educated on just how difficult what these guys are doing. The tricks, how difficult it is, what they're doing, because I don't think that audience, unless they're riders, have any idea of what they're watching. Wow. Look at that, man. Come on. <sighs> I got to say, though, but. I gotta say this, that, uh, man, I see a lot of the tricks they're doing. They're really advanced, but I, I see Kevin Jones all over the place in here. 
they're going more into circles and stuff, but their position on the bike, there's a lot of Kevin Jones influence in there. A lot of guys from plywood hoods. You can see their riding styles in there. Mark Eaton. So they got they got the speed of Dennis McCoy. You can really whip that bike around, huh? Oh yeah, and they switch pegs and stuff. It's freaky. Wow. Look how short the bike is. They're super super steep head angle. The forks are like almost straight up and down. Like like the S and M. This is even smaller. Oh, wow. No, I mean, don't think because you buy a short bike like that, you're going to do that stuff. No <laughs> way. <sighs> These guys should be, like, world famous, man. If people knew what this was, what was really going on here. Not to take anything away from Bob Harrell, Ronnie Wilton, Mike Buff. Woody Edson, Martin Aparijo, all the ramp riders out there, we're looking at ground right now. But, but all those guys, I can see all those guys that I just mentioned in the style of riding in some way. Part of their style is in here, part of the tricks they invented is in here. That one looks pretty original though. Damn. Come on, man. That's just not possible. Wow. Jeez. I gotta go to one of those shows, one of those contests. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think I'd have to take a drum, I mean, just to watch it. <laughs> look at that. Look at how he, look at he's, it's like he's not even trying to balance. And that, huh? Wild. Let's see that one you were talking about. Yeah, let's find that. Because we're getting, where's 315? We're going an hour, right? As long as you want. Now I hear McDonald's calling me. You hear that? Yeah. Oh, this is it. That's him. That's him. This is the last one, man. Check this guy out. This is this is the baddest looking trick I've seen in a while. Watch this. <laughs> Into a backwards double decade. Man. Jesus. That is... He's just riding his bike like backwards too. Basically. Sitting on the bars like that and throwing your weight forward into a wheelie is the scariest feeling. <laughs> and then that, I don't even get that backwards. That's like here. a recur yeah, backwards one. Wow. That is crazy. If I could do that trick and then die, I think I'd be happy. I think my life would be fulfilled. Who is this riding right now? I always forget. Joe Grutola. And John Ewell. Oh, this is in Japan. I don't know, I can't see his face. Man, that is such a cool looking trick. That is so awesome looking. I thought they had a red line. Let's see that red line. Oh, don't put that on there. Why? I don't like watching myself ride. <laughs> Especially after you just had that guy doing all those guys doing those amazing tricks, man. I just, I just want to see this one. I haven't seen this one yet. I didn't even know I could do it if you turn into a lot. Jeffrey Hildreth posted this, I think. I just had a friend named Jeff Hildreth in my idea. I don't know if that's the same guy. It might be. Why are they trying to video me? Well, I think they wanted to see it. They placed it right here. That's where this pop does come in handy. Uh, I see. That's one thing I like about that drawing. When you're old and crooked, you don't want to bend down to that bottom peg. Yeah, I won't be 
doing that one anymore. Yeah, having all these outfits he used to have. Bella has one. She got pants and a jersey somehow. Wow. I was kind of glad when Peter Gustin came in and showed us that we didn't have to wear all that stuff because that stuff's uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> I know it looks good and professional, but, you know, t-shirts and stuff like he was wearing, that was, um, that's nice. Backwards infinity roll. That was like 20 feet, right? That's Matt Hoffman height. I don't remember doing that. It's the Dave Nori trip. I must have stole it from Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. That's you right there? Yeah. This is when Jeffrey Hildreth, the guy that used to live on Hinsdale, when we were like four and five years old, is it? You should message him. Huh? You should message him. I haven't talked to him forever. I think my sister talks to my sister talks to his sister, Holly. Yeah. Holly's over. Yay. Who is this? I don't know. This is some for something. That's so dumb. Why? It's embarrassing. It does. I'm on a freestyle bike. Why am I racing? Okay. That's it. Hold on. Let me get him back up. Anything of that logo. I like it. Even with the bike? Mm hmm. That's why I designed it like that. Are we done? Yeah, if you want to tell them you're done, feel free. Okay, so let us know what you think. Um, we're just kind of getting this stuff together right now. We have a lot of other things we want to do, especially when we start building this bike. Um, and I want to thank you guys for all your time and your feedback and the chats and everything that Dylan and I have been having with all of you and um, make sure um, anyways this I appreciate everything you guys are doing it I'm really enjoying um, I just enjoy our friendship I think it's a good group god damn man look at my eyes <laughs> I was gonna wear sunglasses but I thought that might be a little bit more it might have been overdone but I'm looking at my eyes I'm thinking I should wear them you guys say anything? Um, we'll we'll let you guys know when we're gonna do our next live stream. Maybe oh, next Sunday we're doing one with Mike uh, Carmody. Mike Carmody. Carmody. So yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah, he's that guy is funny and he's just he's just a good guy. Isn't that? Yeah. But uh, we'll be doing a live stream with him. I'll be posting all week leading up to it, just giving you guys the details. Um, and I've got another how-to video coming out soon, so look out for that. Did you want to talk about the logo at all? Or? Well, so we've been going over this logo, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, but please disagree with me. The bike bugs me a little bit, um, the bike and the logo. Just a little bit. It actually is cool because it's nostalgic. It's got tough wheels on it or Peregrine mags, whatever kind of mags those are. Um, and I overthink everything way too much. So Dylan likes it the way it is. And 90% of you guys, 99% of you guys like it the way it is. But um, I don't know if you guys want to kick in your ideas. We're going to run everything from you guys, 
we're going to run everything through you guys because uh, we were doing this with you. As we talked about in the beginning, we started this journey, and uh, this is what it is for me. It's a journey, and um, it's it's going to be an interesting one too. So um, yeah. I'm glad you guys are coming along with it because we're doing this together. And again, I want to thank my son Dylan for. Um, we would not have come this far without him. So, of course, yeah, it's fun doing it. I enjoy it. So, Eric, you gonna send me that stem? Do we have a deal or what, man? Because I'm gonna, I need that thing bad. So, um, if you can send me that, or whatever you want to do, I'm easy. You know, however you want to work it out. And cool. I hope you're feeling better too. Cool. Well, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll be posting some updates later today, starting tomorrow. Got anything else? Let's go to McDonald's. Okay, it's Mickey D's time. All right, see you guys. Have a good night. Thank you.